The FedEx St. Jude Championship officially begins tomorrow with the first round, and the competition is stiffer than ever before. Avery Braxton tells us what golfers have to say about changes to the FedEx Cup playoffs and the challenges this weekend holds for them. A whole lot of wet and rainy conditions today at the FedEx St. Jude Championship Pro-Am and everyone scrambling for a couple of hours and they hope that's not the case for the rest of the week. Unlike years past where there were 125 golfers at this event, only 70 here to compete in Memphis, making the competition even more intense. Dark skies and heavy rain during Wednesday's Pro-Am slowed play for a few hours, making players weary of the conditions to come. I've heard it's been kind of a rainy rainy season here recently, so the rough is a bit thicker than I remember it being. Um, gotten some really, really nasty lies around the greens. Mother Nature may not play nice this weekend, but for the best of the best golfers of the PGA Tour, they know TPC Southwind can always be unkind if you're not focused. You got to hit it really good out here, and when you're in position, you can score, but the second you start hitting the ball offline, you're going to be penalized pretty severely for those mistakes. This year's field is smaller than years past. Only the top 70 golfers are here to chase the three tournament FedEx Cup championship. Matt Kuchar has made the playoffs every year since 2007. It's not a goal of anyone's to, to, to be in this position and, and, and make the streak. It certainly is a nice feather in the cap, and, and but today to, to hear from players was was a, a great feeling. Only 50 players will advance to next week's BMW Championship. Three-time FedEx Cup champion Rory McIlroy missed last year's cut in Memphis, but he knows even a rocky start can have a strong finish. If you're up there in the in the standings, at least you know you've got a little bit of wiggle room. But um, at the end of the day, going into the Tour Championship, if you're if you're sort of within four of the lead, you know, starting on Thursday, I think you're in a really good spot. They'll jockey for the top spot beginning Thursday here in Memphis. From TPC Southwind, I'm Avery Braxton.